Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, give someone local admin rights to a server or workstation, however you are looking at that. It's basically for any Windows distribution. You can go to this PC, you can go to manage, but I mean that's one way to do it. Or you can open up server manager, go to tools, click on computer management. And then here we can go to users and then we can add a user here. So there's one way you might not know, which I'm just gonna go ahead and create a test user here. Close out, close out. Let's say you're on a workstation and you wanna give someone local admin rights. You can do start, go to run, and then type in control user passwords two. Hit okay. And then this will give you the full list of all the users on the um, machine and what groups they have. So I just created that new demo user here. You can see it's just a user group. And go to properties, group membership, and change it to administrator. So I know there's other ways to do this, but this is basically what you could do on a domain environment. Let's say this uh, server is part of a domain environment, or let's say that workstation is part of a domain environment. You don't really have control panel on users because it's all part of the domain environment. Uh, this is a way you can uh, give that person local admin rights onto that box so they can install programs, uh, modify configurations, and they don't need uh, a domain administrator or a higher lev level of permission to do those things. So this is just another way, like I said, you just go to start, type in run, type in control space user passwords two, and then hit okay. And like I said, this is mainly used um, for if I'm on a workstation and I'm part of a joined domain controller, then usually there's no control panel and users. You literally have to use this or go into that user management area to make some a local um, admin. Now I know you can do this in command prompt as well. So there's another way. So this is like the fifth way. Um, and you can open up command prompt here and you can do net local group. And then you can type in, I believe it's administrators then you can do slash add and then you can just do you know my domain if it's a domain user um, slash you know my username and then you would hit enter and that person will now have um, local uh, admin per permissions so you can do it that way as well um, I like the GUI because it's just click and add but if you like the command prompt you can do it that way as well um, Local administrators may not be a good group to add users to a domain controller. However, for other purposes like event log reader and other things, this works well. You can also use net local groups to display all the groups and choose the best one suited for the service account with least privileges. Like if you're setting up a new user and it's just a service account, you can do that as well. So you could just do um, net local group and you can see all the uh, groups that are on this domain or on the server, not domain. And that is how you add someone to the local administrator group on a workstation or a server.